Page 41, Space Shuttle Blues. On page 40, they're covering the second inversion for the C chord. We've already had the first inversion. Remember, you take it, you turn it over one time, you get first inversion. We've had a few pieces with the first inversion. Now they're just turning it over again. So you're starting here, putting the E on top. So that's second inversion. That's all this is. You get it in the left hand in this. Same fingering each one, just let the wrist go and just aiming one finger and letting the other fingers go along. That's fine. I don't care which finger you aim. Practice them all. One, take turns. The tricky part here is the last measure of the second line because there's a B flat stuck in there. So it's here. You want to go to here. That's, that's where you want to go. But the B flat messes it up. So you got to stick that in there. So it's not exactly the same because you got to come down and uh, here. Now if you have really big hands or really fat fingers and you can't get up here, then you have to adjust it probably with a 5-3-2. And that really messes it up because now you're here to here. Do the best you can. But I recommend if your fingers are small enough, use the fingering in the book. So, right hand first, let's talk about this. We have a pickup measure. Believe it or not, that first measure has only got three counts in it, if you count them. The triplets was one count, three notes, one end of two end of three, remember, one, and then four eighth notes, that's three counts. But if you look at the last measure of the piece, down there, that's got one count in it. So that's, put them together, and okay. We're coming in on beat two is what I'm getting at, here. Two and a three and four and one and. Because on, on all these, where you're doing that with the triplet, it, it's on beat two. Two and a two. Two and a three and four and one and two and a one. You ought to be able to go back and forth on this counting. Follow the fingering in the book. You're holding that over forever and then you do it again. Second measure, second line, you gotta come up. E flat. They're both E flats because that flat sign applies for the rest of the measure. And then you go down to the next line. Look at the end of the third line, the last two measures. You get a 2 4 bar there at the end. Mm -hmm. They can change time signatures of a piece anywhere they want, as often as they want. The only stipulation or the only rule is it has to be done at a bar line. And some pieces will change time signatures on every measure. It's just wonderful. You know, there's got a lot of it. Coming. But there has to be something common between them all to keep the beat going. Because you're not going to mess up the beat just because you change time signatures. Well, we have a 4 4 at the beginning. We have a 2 4 here. The bottom note is the common note, the, the number, not note. It's a four, and that's a quarter note, so we're just going to keep the beat the same. Quarter note beat is the same. We're just going to count to two instead of four. So those last two measures of that third line is one and a two and a three and four and one and two and one and two. So all I did is just counted to two, but the counting just, it was steady. And that's all it's about. Don't let it throw you. It's really not difficult. It just, it looks like, oh, what are they doing here? A 2-4? How do I do that? Just keep the beat the same. Then at the last line, last couple measures there, you have an F sharp, B, D sharp, and they're saying 1-2-4. That's fine if you want. And then a C chord. Every note is going up a half a st half step. So this is going up to here. This is going up to here, and that's going up to here. Just half step. That's actually used a lot. You get the idea. Left hand has these chords. That's about it. Keep the left hand soft. The fun stuff's in the right hand. So it's two and a two and a one.
got a little tricky there in the last couple lines. Let's go back and look at that again. The last two measures of the third line, you're here. Using fourth finger, not thumb. We want to stay in this position. And then the next one is 3 2. So, really slowly with the numbers. 1 and 2 and uh, 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 and uh, 3. It's, it's, it's another way of syncopating music, is all they're doing. They don't give you much of any articulations. Get to know the piece, and you can add staccatos in places if you feel them. Also, the dynamics, they don't give you much. It's a little crescendo. Get to know the piece and you can play around with the dynamics. So it's sort of loud at the beginning and it's soft at the end. Well, play around with them. and In the middle, don't play the whole thing medium loud. Experiment. It's up to you and your imagination and your interpretive powers, your musicianship that you're developing, I hope, to try this stuff out. Now this is sort of a, a blues type thing and as such then we can go ahead and swing the eighth notes. And so the counting isn't one and a two and three and it's one and two and three and four and one and two. That means the triplets now are changing to fit into this one and two and three. So now the triplets are just kind of blending in. So we don't have to do one and a two and three and four and one and a two. In a lot of pieces we do. Here it's just one and two and three and four and one. And so one and two and three and four. And the triplets just kind of fall in there. So at the beginning, one and two. makes the eighth notes sound like triplets but if you would feel it you'll find it's not exactly a triplet the first one is but these others could be a little shorter than that you have to feel this rhythm type boost it up. I would like to play it with you slowly, not doing any dynamics, but I, I, I will swing the eighth notes. So let's just make sure we got it. Do it one hand at a time if you have to for a while till you get it, but I'd like to try it just to make sure you got all the right notes and rhythms going. We come in on beat two, so I'm going to give us five counts, a full four counts because it's in four four time, and then one more count because we come in on beat two. Huh? One, two, three, four, and go, and...
one, hold off.